Mike, your line is now live. Hey, Christian, I know you were the first recipient a few years ago of the Jackson, Jackson Wing Mata Leon uh, scholarship. I'm And obviously you're a teammate and man who will be fighting also on Friday night. Davion Franklin was, you know, the second. You guys have entrenched yourself in the top 10. You're both well on your way to the top, you know, in your respective divisions. What was that and how has that scholarship and, and being at Jackson Wing helped you in your young career? Uh, you know, it's it's been like the most important part of my growth and development. I feel like, you know, um, just being blessed with such a great opportunity, you know, like when I first got the scholarship, you know, my manager, Rick, he moved me out to Albuquerque. You know, I training was free. My living was free. I just all I had to do was show up and, and train, you know, so that's all I did was just train and, and get better. You know, and I didn't even I think I had been to Bella, like I think I had been to Jackson Week almost about a year actually like a little over a year before I had made my Bellator debut so you know that was a whole year of just being able to get better and 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 add to my skill set and now you know I'm a completely thanks to my coaches and my teammates and being surrounded by such you know great minds for MMA every day you know I'm a completely different fighter than who I was when I first showed up you know and and, and uh you know I'm still getting better how does it feel to have that team behind you while you're achieving so much, you know, success early on in your career? And how has it helped in that in that war room, in that training room, uh, preparing you to move forward? Man, it's it's helped a ton. You know, um, you know, I have such great training partners and great coaches. You know, Greg Jackson and Mike Winklejohn are arguably the greatest minds in MMA. You know, as far as coaches go, you know, arguably, and and you know, Joey Villasenor who had over 40 pro MMA fights, you know, and, and just has such a great knowledge of fighters and what we go through, you know, the whole process, you know, fight week, weigh in, you know, fight day, all that, you know, and so I love having them in my corner. I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't want any other corner, you know, and, um, you know, also being able to work with the teammates that I work with, like, you know, Juan Adams, John Jones, Devin Clark, Dante Mays, Davion Franklin, you know, and and uh, just all these great fighters and, and, and high level mixed martial artists, you know, it's 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 really helped a lot. Harry, hey Christian, happy back from the bookie's basement. Hope you're doing well. Doing good, man. How are you doing? Good, thank you. So at, at only 22 years old, you're you're four and zero now as a professional MMA fighter. You're making your main card debut here. Uh, do, do you feel like you kind of have an opportunity here to really raise your profile and become a household name on Friday? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think I think after this one, I, I, I'm, I'm certain that after this one, it's going to be top 10 guys from here on out since, you know, I am I am a top 10 guy myself, you know, and obviously, you know, number eight is, you know, it's 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 a ranking, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for it, but that's not the end goal. You know, the end goal is, is the belt, you know, and being number one. So. That's what I'm chasing. But, um, yeah, I, I believe after this one, it's going to be top 10 guys from here on out. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Best of luck, Friday. Thank you. Michael? Hey, Christian. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Everything good here. Uh, my question for you is how important it is to maintain that undefeated record that you have uh, more like uh, as your legacy as a fighter. Like, what does the undefeated record mean to you? Uh, it, it means a lot, man, you know, because, uh, you know, I well, no secret here, you know, I love winning, you know what I mean? I, I You know, like, there's no feeling like it, there's no high like it, you know, the feeling of, of, of winning a, a mixed martial arts fight, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's just, it's, it, I can't even describe it with words, you know, it's it's such a great feeling. And I don't ever want to um, experience the feeling of losing, you know what I mean? And, and I feel like my, like my my mindset and my confidence complements my skill set really well, and I just I you know I see myself being undefeated for a long time, if not my whole career. And my last question: You promise uh, everyone on Instagram that you will have a masterful performance as always. What can we expect from you on this Friday fight? Uh, just just a dominant performance on my behalf. You know what I mean, and just violence. You know, there's there's obviously certain things that I have to watch out for with him because I know that he's a game opponent and I know he's going to come to win, but he's not ready for what I'm going to throw at him. I'm going to hit him with my most violent and malicious techniques and he'll fold under the pressure.
Sergio. This is Sergio from Fighter Path MMA. How are you doing? Good. How you doing? Not too bad. So you said you love winning, um, something you love to do just as much as finish fights. Uh, that being said, there's one fight on your record that, that you weren't able to finish, and that was Marco Hutch. What was the, uh, the biggest lesson from that fight uh, that you took that you can apply both on Friday night as well as uh, in your future fights? You know, honestly, I think the biggest lesson that I learned from that fight truly was just being able to uh, being able to pace myself. You know, I, I, I think I did a really good job of pacing myself in that fight and, and showing that I can't go the full 15 minutes if I have to. You know, and I'm not afraid of going the full 15 minutes because, you know, the what I always say in the training room, you know, to all my teammates, I, I say that, you know, this is the hard part, you know, the compared to this, the fight is easy, you know, like the training that we do, the thing, the things that we go through in training leading up to the fight, that's the hard part, you know, compared to this fight's easy, you know? So, um, yeah, I mean, I think just really pacing myself and, and knowing what it's like to, to go the full 15 minutes was the most important thing I learned from that fight. Ronald. This is Ronald Eastman from Getting Real. Christian, in your, in, your, in your upcoming fight, you will be fighting against someone who is unranked. So how do you keep yourself focused while also fighting on the main card and not try and not let the moment slip away? Uh, because, you know, it's the, the mission is still the same at the end of the day. You know, go in there and do what I have to do to win. You know, whether he's ranked or unranked, you know, he's in my way and he's trying to take money out of my pocket, food off of my table and, and opportunities out of my future. And I just won't, I won't let that happen. And what, and what has your training camp been? Anything you've improved on or anything you learned during this camp? Um, I, you know, I, I'm always learning and improving in the gym. You know, I'm, I'm a sponge truly, you know, like I always want to learn and get better where I can. And, and, you know, without, you know, I don't want to reveal too much, but I just, I just, I've been working a lot of, a lot of my wrestling and a lot of my um, my striking in the, in this camp, and and I have some some techniques that I feel will be you know there all day for me in this fight that I, that I'm definitely gonna hit him with. All right, thanks for the time today, Christian. Good luck on Friday. Thank you.